coffee. You know what that means. It must be town day. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's town day. About 9.7 miles into Daleville. Upload the videos, eat some food, sleep in a warm bed. Oh, what else is there? <laughs> Take a shower, do some laundry, and get back on trail tomorrow. Uh, but nine and a half, 9.7 miles. I was in my tent last night, it's quite mild, it's about 38 degrees right now, so it's very comfortable sleep. My hip was bothering me a little bit. That happens sometimes uh, on a longer day, just like it stiffens up or something, so I have to keep, every time I wake up, I stretch out and everything. It was actually like a mini bubble last night. <laughs> there were four people in the shelter. There were two others in a tent down by a stream, and I was over in a tent by myself, like in a corner close to the bear box, actually. <laughs> kind of funny, but... That's a lot of people for this time of year. A lot of times I have a shelter to myself or one other person. At the most, it seems like. So, everybody was nice and respectful. And uh, went to bed early. It didn't make a lot of noise or anything. So, I'm first one up. Imagine that. <laughs> but, nice people. Finn was there. Finn, you've heard me talk about him probably. He's from Finland. Uh... Zeb was there. You've seen him a couple nights ago. He was in the same shelter as me in a tent. This time he was in the shelter. Uh, a guy by the name of Jolly Green Giant. I passed him back in Hot Springs. And uh, another guy named Extra. But that Extra is not the Extra you met earlier in the year <laughs> near Wyatt Bald or after Franklin. Uh, this is a different extra. He was actually somebody that knew me from last year. Him and his wife passed me at Uncle Johnny's. Or we passed each other. It was in the same place, however you want to say it. Uh, I guess he had to get off and is coming back to do sections that he missed last year. Uh, I ran into him in Perrysburg as well. So I've met all four of them before never really hiked with any of them. Finn and me kind of keep going back and forth over the last week or two. But uh, the other two, I think, were section hikers, the ones in the tent down by the stream. I had seen them up in uh, oh, Tinker Cliffs. They were up there on the rocks talking to each other. And uh, anyway, nice, respectful, quiet place. So that's a good thing. But it was like a mini bubble. I don't really want that too often where there's that many people in a shelter or whatnot. It's not my thing. Anyway, probably down to 9.4 miles now. <laughs> so let's get this day going and who knows, maybe we'll even get a really good sunrise out of it. There it is. <laughs> oh, I love these sunrises.
way down there. <laughs> On top of this ledge or cliff. Oh, so beautiful. Another cliff overlooking a little bit post sunrise. Still beautiful. Down there is Troutville and Daleville. I don't know which one's which <laughs> from up here. Well, actually, probably down there either because they kind of run in each other. There's a couple of hawks that flew off of here and they're just flying around over there. I don't know if you could see them. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. I am one fortunate man. There's either Daleville or Troutville. You can see all those white trees down there, blossoming and blooming. And there's a little tree right in front of me. <laughs> Beautiful. on top of a monolith rock that's right off the trail not all the way up not this far up could go all the way up there but i'm not gonna do that because there's a lot of leaves that doesn't give good traction not a lot of places to grab onto and i'm not a climber as much as i am a hiker i'm a mountain summiter climbing rocks they need to be non somewhat non-sketchy for me 
but I got good views of the reservoir and that mountain over there at least. It's beautiful. So here's that monolith from the trail. And I was I was up on that one. <laughs> it doesn't do it justice. It's probably 20 feet high. And the other part is 40 or so, I'm guessing. Great views of that mountain behind it though. Here's a big rock slanted over the trail. It's called Hay Rock. And here's Finn, by the way. Hello. I keep talking about him. Nice guy. We keep uh, hiking around each other the last week or so. But we were checking this thing out because apparently you can go down and climb it if you're brave enough. Guess what? I'm not brave enough. Not today, Satan. This is so cool walking underneath this thing now. Forty-five or fifty degrees. <laughs> Forty-five or fifty 59. degrees. <laughs> and it's if it goes straight off the edge too. So if you slide down that puppy, it's not going to be a good ending. And then there's not going to be any town food. <laughs> a mile from Daleville now and it's nice and cruisy trail at this point I think most of the ascent and descent is done might be a little ups and downs probably descends another couple hundred feet before getting in to the town but all I'm thinking about is food there's a Mexican buffet there that I've heard of gonna have to check that out Mexican food unlimited um, yes. And then there's a little barbecue place that I know of called Three Little Pigs. I've eaten there before. But the thing I did not know is all through hikers that come through there, they get banana pudding. I did not know that. So I'm going to get me some banana pudding at Three Little Pigs. Then I got to go to the store. And this is in no particular order. <laughs> got to resupply at the store. Probably go to the outfitters see what they have and uh and laundry of course shower oh that first hot shower always feels so amazing i'll probably take three of them <laughs> before heading back out on the trail um let's see oh yeah the big one uploading the videos so y'all can see what i've been up to some beautiful beautiful stuff Every single day, it seems like. It doesn't matter if it's a nine mile day or a 29 mile day, there's always beautiful things to see. And I'm so glad I get to share them with you. Alrighty, I'm going to put this phone away and hurry on down to Daleville. And uh, I'll show you some of the town when I'm there. But uh, a lot of things to do today. And one of the most important things, nah, it is the most important thing. I don't know. Shower and food is really important. <laughs> but I'm talking to my wife. Haven't been able to talk to her the last couple of days because of being in deep woods and just couldn't get signals. 
So I'll be glad to uh, be able to connect with her. Sure love that woman. And I know she knows it. And I'll never get tired of showing her. All righty. Get this last quarter to three quarters of whatever's left now of a mile finished up. And then to Daleville for some rest and rejuvenation. Oh, yeah. Yeah.